North Carolina State Senator Wiley Nickel made his national television debut as a congressional candidate on our program. Now he's a winner on his way to Washington. This is a win about sending a message that folks are tired of far-right extremists. If you run as 100% pro-Trump in a district like this, you are going to lose. And that's more important than winning this election. The message we send with this, that far-right extremists are going to be rejected by voters because they know the difference. And we get to send that message with this win. That is Democratic representative-elect now, Wiley Nickel. He was celebrating a decisive victory in North Carolina's 13th congressional district over Trump-backed Republican Bo Hines. The New York Times reported Bo Hines was, quote, seen as a rising star by some in the Trump wing of the party. Bo Hines said access to abortion for rape and incest victims should be decided by what he called a community level review. Are you saying that you do would accept an exception for rape or incest in North Carolina? I think in certain cases, yes. Obviously, in a case like that where, you know, a 10-year-old woman or 10-year-old girl, I should say, obviously should not be able to go through with that pregnancy. I mean, that's, that, that's something that's a horrific tragedy that, that there has to be exceptions in place for. Okay. So, so is it more the rape and the incest or her age, I guess? Well, I mean, I think it's a combination of, of both, but you have to look at each individual case and look at each individual circumstance and see what happens there. Joining us now is Representative-elect Wiley Nickel of North Carolina. Thank you very much for returning to us uh, to join us tonight. A uh, real pleasure to have you here. Uh, was that the decisive moment in your campaign when he said that about uh, what a 10-year-old girl would have to go through after being a victim of rape or incest? Uh, it, it was certainly an important moment for our campaign because it showed you know, what a far-right extremist we were up against. Uh, it's an issue that, that we continue to talk about because, you know, women's rights were on the ballot in this election. You know, the, the, this case by case, you know, community level review for victims of, of rape, you know, was something that uh, was, was far out of step with the voters in this district. It was a very close race uh, that you won. You were your state senator. You could have stayed, uh, presumably, uh, in the state Senate. What made you make the decision to take this risk and run for the House of Representatives? Well, you know, I wanted to do all I could to make sure that, that we continue to make gains in, in Congress. But this race really was about sending a message. You know, I, I'm glad to be going to Congress uh, to represent the 13th District, but we were able to send a message for any you know swing districts this was a 50 50 seat that if you stand a hundred percent pro-trump say you want to be a MAGA warrior and you know you're gonna you're gonna lose at the ballot box and for anyone else who you know it you know stands with the you know marjorie taylor green madison cawthorn wing of the republican party you know they, they may do okay in republican plus 20 districts but we're going to reject them at the ballot box in swing districts like this one do you know if it was helpful in your race uh, to have uh, Sherry Beasley running as strong a campaign as she did statewide for Senate? I think absolutely. You know, we, we won, you saw there, just by a little over two points. Uh, a lot of people came out to vote for Sherry Beasley. And if she hadn't run such a strong campaign, you know, there's a chance we might not have won this race. So, you know, it, when it, in a close election like this, everything matters. And, uh, you know, she did a really good job making sure that folks got out to vote.